Hey there, folks. I am indeed recording. Yes, 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 yes. Up today, Scroovers, who are horrific to look at. Worse than I remembered. Told that was just a pile of rotten meat. Till it started to move. Tybot from Buclair. Scroovers are Rothine's larger cousins. The bodies of these hideous, vaguely humanoid creatures are covered with rotten scraps of flesh. Um, the, the bodies of these hideous, vaguely humanoid creatures are covered with rotten scraps of flesh, under which lurk even more rotten muscles stretched across a long, flexible skeleton. Scroviers, which feed on old, rotten corpses, prefer to make their hunting rounds in abandoned torture sites, forgotten um, graveyards, and old battlefields. They are very aggressive. And though they feed on corpses, if they come across a living person, they are likely to attack. Those wandering near any of the above-mentioned places, one must be especially cautious. Scroviers usually feed underground, but sometimes when they catch the scent of a human, they crawl to the surface in a matter of seconds and attack their potential prey. While fighting them, one cannot afford to forget about their special bony spines. Razor sharp, um, excuse me, razor sharp protuberances, pro protuberances sticking out from their skeletons. When a scrouvier is near death, the gases and enzymes gathered around its body cause it to explode. When a screwbeard is near death, gases and enzymes scattered around its body cause it to explode, flinging these spines out at great speed, turning them into one last, deadly weapon in their arsenal. To protect oneself against damage from these spines, one must make prodigious use of the quince sign. And they're obviously weak to the necrophage oil. Up next are spotted whites. Whites. 